Just uh, um, leave a candle burning for me, okay? Hey, John. Did you bring your mom with you? No, he brought your mom with him. What are you doing here? Oh, now I know you like to be rude to me, but why don't you invite your nephew inside? Fine, Johnny can come in. You stay out here in the hallway. Stop being so grumpy. Adam. I've got great news. What, you're moving to Adam Mongolia? No. Jennifer and Dusty are getting married. That's great. Yeah. It's really great. I think things are finally turning around for her. He's a wonderful guy, and he's going to be so good to Johnny. I'm just really happy for them. Hold on a second. You're pleased about this? You're not planning to try and stop the wedding and destroy your own daughter's chances of happiness? <sighs> no, honey, it's OK. It's all right. You've no reason to be scared of your Uncle Paul. He's not nearly as mean as he sounds, is he? Give him to me. Come in. Visiting hours are over. How'd you get in? I still have a few friends on staff. I promised I won't stay long. So where are they? The papers. Did Paul send you to deliver them to me personally? Paul hasn't signed the papers yet. And I don't think he's going to. He's a good dad to him. Who knew? Jennifer knew. And she lost all that time with Johnny because of me. No, no, you stop. You stop. Not because of you, because of Craig Montgomery. You were right to shield Jennifer and Johnny from Craig. And now, she's marrying a wonderful guy. And he's going to be a good father. Things have worked out for Jen. They could work out for you too, Paul. Paul sent you Paul here? Paul doesn't know I'm here. Well, then how do you know he changed his mind about signing the papers? <laughs> why, why would he? He doesn't want oh, this please, baby. please, Emily. Stop with the shock and awe. You know damn well why he didn't sign. You planned this whole thing. What? You knew he was coming here today to give up his parental rights, so you set up that sonogram so he could see it. What are you talking about? I wasn't even in the room when he saw the no, picture. You're good. You're really good. I'm starting to think that there is nothing that you can't do. You know, you even set yourself up in this nice cushy room instead of a jail cell. Meg, so Meg, why are you here? To congratulate you. You're getting exactly what you want. This is you. Yeah, I doubt that. How could she not miss someone who's been her best friend her whole life? I hurt her. We have all hurt each other. Now, it's true, I don't think taking it with Meg Snyder was what the doctor would order for a reconciliation, but nonetheless, Paul, you need to be a part of your nephew's life, and you and Jennifer and Will need to be in each other's lives, always. Jennifer's made it pretty clear that she doesn't want that. OK, well, maybe, maybe this engagement is a way for you to start slowly. Call her up, congratulate her. Is there a party? Yes, there's a party. When? 
I'm not suggesting that you come to the party, but you can send flowers. That's a great idea. When and where? No, I am not going to tell you when the party is, because I know you. You will show up. I won't do that to Jennifer. You've got this all wrong. I don't want Paul anywhere near my child. Oh, you are so full of it. Meg, why would I want him to bond with this baby? If he fights me for custody, do you really think he's going to lose? Come on, I I'm going to be in a psych hospital or a prison cell. And whose fault is that? He's already done enough to destroy my life. Does he have to take away the one good thing that came out of all this insanity and grief? This is my baby, not Paul's, and it sure as hell is not yours. The last thing I want is you tucking my child into bed at night. Yeah, that would suit me just fine. Because if I get your child, I get you in the bargain. That's the last thing oh, I want. Well, then talk to him, please. Just convince him. Tell him to stay away from me and my baby. I can't. What? You can't? I thought he would do anything for you. He will. But not this. You don't want the baby, but he does. Where does that leave you, Meg? Even further by showing up to their engagement party uninvited? Yes, I do. All right, I won't go. Good. It's for the best. You know, I should send flowers, though. You're right. She's my sister. I should congratulate her. Honey, I am not going to tell you where the party is. Try not to make him cry anymore. Hey, you are so lucky. Jen's your mom, and now Dusty's your dad. <sighs> tell Jennifer I think he's a great kid. Parties at Lucinda's tomorrow. Go slowly and take my advice for once. Right. Look how far it's gotten me so far. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. No matter where he loves me. Okay, you say so. You know, if you try to come between us, you will fail, Emily. <laughs> I just saw Meg leave. What did she want? Did she upset you? I need to be here with my child. Paul. Don't make me choose. If you can't understand why I need to be here, then we have nothing, Meg. Nothing at all. to that. Paul, what are you doing here? Uh, the question is, how did he find out about the party in the first place? It was hardly a secret, Hal. Mom, you invited Paul? No, I told him not to come and make a scene. Oh, oh good grief. But now that he is here unexpectedly, as Hal said, this is about family, so... Oh, how nice to see you, Paul. Yes, nice to see it you. is. And how thoughtful and how conventional you brought a present. I'll make sure that Dusty and Jennifer get it. Now, you let me walk I'll, you out, I'll all right? I'll myself, and please don't be upset with Barbara. It was my idea to come here. Get out. Absolutely, Dusty, if that's what Jennifer wants. All right, take a walk, Dusty. 
You hit him, you ruin the day for Jennifer. Is that what you want? Get him out of here. My pleasure. The charge is trespassing, and you have the right to remain silent. Oh, Daddy, Daddy, don't, please. please. Stop. Everybody just, would you okay. stop? You know what? Oh. I'm sorry. I, I thought, uh... No, Paul, don't. I need to talk to you. Dad, I need to talk to Paul. Let me handle him, honey. This day is about you and Dusty. I have things that I need to say that can't wait. Usually these family parties fall apart in about a half hour, so this is some kind of record. Um, when do you want to get out of here? After I finish bragging about you. No, Gwen, yeah. don't. Bragging? Is there some good news here? I don't know. Not really, Dad. It's nothing.